Here we have no place like home. Okay. And unfinished symphony. I really feel like you have some type of unfinished business here. Okay. In a situation. All right. So let's see. What's going on for Scorpio? What can't they see coming? The Hermit card. I feel like you've put in some type of work here, okay, for things to go in your favor. I feel like this soul, it's not just any type of work. This is going within, okay? This is soul work, facing your inner demons, right? To get yourself out of this rut because you're in between worlds right now, right? You it, Sometimes you have to be the change that you want to see in your life, right? With the Queen of Cups, this talks about what you're receiving on the receiving end. You're going to receive some good karma, things going in your favor, okay? And this is going to make you very happy. That's why I said I feel happiness here, but I also feel like uh, agitation here as well. It's like it's been a long time coming for you, okay? Yeah, Nine of Wands. It's been a long time coming, you know? In this competitive like energy. See, you had somebody in your energy where you always had to like, you know, like they were always like being competitive with you. Or you just, you couldn't even say nothing without this person just like on your ass or something. It's like, damn, can I take a breather? Can I, why is you coming at me that hard? You know, it's like that type of energy. And I mean, this is just tugged at you. For some of you all, I just heard years. This is tugged at you for years. Some of you all nine years. Some of you all five. You know, others are for you all. It's just been long enough having it with the two of pentacles here. You going back and forth. You don't know how to even it's like damn near dealing with a narcissist. I hate to throw that word around, but it's like this person got you questioning what you should receive, you know, because it's like somebody always down your throat like, oh, well, you did this wrong and you did that wrong and da da da, you know, and it, it damn near got you affected to the point where you're second guessing your decisions, you know. Here we have the five of pentacles, always kind of feeling like out in the cold, feeling abandoned, why opportunities aren't coming to you as soon as they should, you know, it's just like, oh, well, I'm not receiving what I deserve. So it's the energy of you feeling down, down and out. Right. But with the six of wands here, you will be recognized for all of the work that you've been putting in. And quite frankly, I feel like the divine sees everything. Okay. So with the 10 of cups here, expect some type of um outcome to be like you're in a more stable environment with somebody that's more emotionally balanced and they can offer more to you and a relationship because I see something happening long term okay some of you all literally could be breaking out of something long term and you're kind of throwing it back and forth should I should I not yeah with the king of cups here This is talking about a relationship, okay? This is talking about how you were literally feeling a lot more pressure than you allowed yourself to feel, okay? And I'm going to go as far as to say that these two energies are polarities between yourself, okay? Normally, this would be a couple, but I feel like you were alone in this relationship, okay? Smash that like button if you were. And it's like an energy of you knowing what you should receive. And knowing that you put in enough work, you know, to receive that which you rightfully deserve. It's like you're somebody that's very emotionally mature and balanced. And you deserve someone that will match that energy, okay? Because I feel like the person you were dealing with, they were anything but emotionally mature and balanced, okay? Yeah, here we have the Seven of Pentacles. This talks about patience, but it also talks about planning and precision. It also talks about investments that you have. With the Queen of Swords, this is the person you left, though, okay? I feel like this is the individual that you left. Tell me more. Yeah, Eight of Cups. That's what comes out. This is the individual that you left. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. So, you know, it's like leaving an energy that no matter how much you invested time, effort, money into, nothing was ever good enough. With the lover's card here, I feel like you're going to make a choice to walk away from this, I damn near want to say love affair. I don't know why I want to just take it how it resonates, you know. It could have started off as that and then, you know, abruptly things ended or things went left, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the King of Pentacles. And it talks about you gaining that stability, you know, back into your life, putting, you know, time, effort, money back into yourself. Okay. Yeah. King of Swords. See, you were definitely estranged from this individual. You all were like basically broken up, but not really fully broken apart, you know? And I see you putting more time and effort into yourself with the three of wands here. Know that something is coming for you. Um, you will be receiving something, but you could be in your head about it. Okay. Because it's like, like I said, it's been a long time coming. So it, it takes a few things like soul searching and good karma to go in your favor for things to kind of pick up this change in a wind kind of happens, but it's like, you know, give yourself time, be patient with yourself. Okay. Because I still see you kind of being in your head about things, better opportunities presenting themselves. OK, so a better opportunity could be presenting itself and then you don't acknowledge it as that because you still have some parts of yourself that need to heal. See, the real wands and the nine of pentacles gives that energy right where you may need to be single for a little while. But it brings in that abundance. It tells you how to love on yourself and shows the universe how you would like to be loved, though, you know. So let's delve deeper. What's going on for cancer? Um, moving towards in the future, what's going on with them? What can they expect? Please and thank you. Here we have Ten of Pentacles. So could be a blending of a family here, but definitely speaks about longevity. Here we have the Adams family. So it's not like the most traditional type of relationship. But Scorpio, that's damn near right up your alley. Like I feel like you're anything but traditional. Okay, in the most respectful way here. Yeah, with the fool card in reverse wanting to show itself. So it's like this could be something that, you know, it doesn't look the way you would have imagined it. But nonetheless, it presents itself. It is exactly how it should be with the nine of cups here. It's something that would be very fulfilling for you. OK, so don't judge a book by its cover. All right. Here we have the tower card coming out again. I feel like this comes in abruptly. OK, you're not able to say when this is going to come in. You're going to be really hung up as well. How it comes in, you know, it surprises you and you're like, well, that doesn't it's something like that, like love at first sight or like you get with somebody and it just takes off. And you're like, well, that's not how I envision things to be when I fall in love again. It's like something like that for you, Scorpio. OK, with the two of wands here, it's like a decision. Are you going to just let it go or are you going to act on it just because it doesn't look how you feel like it should doesn't mean that it can't, you know, pan out good for you. This is something that you manifested with the magician card here. OK, the magician card and the four swords. All right. This talks about effortlessly manifesting something in. So it's not like you had to bust a sweat to do it. You just had to decide that that is what you wanted, you know. So here we have. Yeah. Ace of Cups comes out because this is talking about love. You know, it comes in unexpectedly and it comes in in a way that you wouldn't quite think it would but nonetheless it does knight of cups i feel like this opens you up back to this romantic energy that you really have deep down inside but it's like an energy where you keep your guard up to protect yourself okay so it's like you're finally kind of you know testing the water again finally starting to slowly put your guard down again okay yeah, with the eight of swords, it talks about you being your in your head. So even while you're doing this, you're like, damn, but can I? Can this be? Yes, it can, Scorpio. Okay. You can have cancer placements, okay? Moon or rising or even north node, okay? But with the page of wands here, it's like all you have to do is just say the word. Okay. It's like this person um comes into your life and all you have to do is be like, okay, you know. All you have to do is be open to going on a date or, you know, I don't feel like it's going to be something where you just have to exert a lot of energy with the nine of wands here. You're still showing up as a little wounded, you know, but with the emperor card here, it talks about going for things that you want. OK, but at the same time, trying to control what? This fear of being hurt again, but not only that, trying to control, you know, being wounded, you know, can I persevere more? Can I receive this ace of pinnacles here? You know, this talks about ultimate stability, finances, abundance. Are you able to open that up and be received? Um, because I see someone here, a third party even from your past. 
But it's like, it's like this. Look, Queen of Wands, a third party from your past, right? With the Six of Cups. This is the individual that you dealt with in the past. Could have been a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or you could be going towards that energy, okay? But no, that the karmic wheel is in the upright and it's going in your favor, right? Despite what sneaky behavior you dealt with in the past, okay, Scorpio? Yeah, the Hierophant is here. Learning spiritual lessons, but also... It leads you to a marriage, some type of commitment here with the Ace of Swords, being honest, like, okay, this is what it is, no matter what it looks like with the Seven of Cups, literally, no matter what it looks like, no matter what um, illusions it presents. All right. So let's see. What can I tell Scorpio closing out this read? What's coming towards them? Dedicated effort. By being guided, okay? Guided to dedicated effort, to put in that work, okay? Choose your battles wisely, okay? So if this is something you want, win or lose, go towards it, all right? We even have like joy and stability because that's what it's going to lead to, joy and stability. Just be willing to embrace this, okay? Don't refuse to see what it is. Embrace it, all right? And then listen to your intuition as it guides you here. OK, I damn near couldn't even get that out. So if this message represents if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. And if you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Till then. Peace and love.